What's holding you back from your ascension? Greetings, we are the Ecturian Council, and we are pleased to connect with all of you. We have a beautiful relationship with all other beings throughout this galaxy, and we continue to seek to create partnerships with beings throughout the universe. There are some that we have not yet met outside the Milky Way, and we love expanding our consciousness to connect with whomever we can, because we understand that when we are meeting someone else, we are meeting another aspect of ourselves. This is a beautiful and powerful practice for all of you to employ in your day-to-day -day lives. When you can see everyone else as representing an aspect of you, and then drop your resistance to that person, if you had resistance to them, you can make such tremendous strides forward in your spiritual evolution, and you can bring about the greatest changes on your world that you have ever seen. Truly the biggest problem you have there on earth right now is that you hold grudges, that you feel separate from others, and that you harbor hate in your hearts. Letting all of that go will not just bring you together as a human collective, but it will also help to rise up, and you want to rise up. You want to exist in a higher frequency state, one that we refer to commonly as the fifth dimension, but you cannot get there through seeing yourself as separate than anyone else. Creating division puts you in a third-dimensional mentality and keeps you stuck in a third-dimensional paradigm. You were, for the most part, born into a third-dimensional paradigm, and it is what you are there to transcend, what you are there to ascend out of. Don't see it as letting others off the hook for their bad behavior. See it as the only path to becoming more of who you really are, which is your higher self, your fifth-dimensional self. We have said this before and we will say it again. Stop waiting for something outside of you to happen to catapult you and only the other chosen ones of the fifth dimension. You are going to do this as a collective and in order to really experience yourself as source energy, you must have the others present because they are part of source energy and therefore a part of you. Some of you might wonder how you can possibly forgive some of the heinous acts that your fellow humans have taken part in. We are not telling you to deny yourselves of your feelings about those heinous acts, but we are asking you to imagine that in some other lifetime, one in which you are much, much different than you are today, you are the one committing the heinous acts. If you can forgive someone else, you can forgive yourself. And then, and only then, can you become more whole and complete. The key to forgiveness is not just realizing that by forgiving another you are forgiving yourself. The key to forgiveness is also allowing yourself to feel what that person and that action was always meant to cause you to feel. And once you clear your anger, your sadness, your hate, and your fear, then you are in a place where you can forgive and then you are letting go of some of the weight that's holding you down, that's holding you back, that's keeping you from your own ascension. And as you ascend, you take others with you. You set the example, you create the template, and you become the teacher and guide you were born to be in this lifetime. We are sorry that it is not easier than that, but it was your choice to create this version of reality. So please remember the next time you are shaking your fist at it, and know that the feeling of embracing it all and rising above it is one that is unparalleled throughout the entire galaxy. We are the Arcturian Council. We have enjoyed connecting with you. Are you prepared for the shift, the event? We have finished our evaluation of the human collective consciousness and its ability to handle higher frequency energies. Here is what we have discovered. Not everyone responds in the same way to higher frequency energy. Those who are unprepared for it completely have quite a few ascension symptoms and can sometimes even experience a sort of mental breakdown or even a seizure. Those who are awake but have not been preparing themselves for the higher frequency energies might experience some bodily sensations, some weird dreams, and some physical dehydration. Those of you who are awake and do expect the higher frequencies as they come and have beautiful experiences where you tap into new abilities where you know yourselves as your higher selves for periods of time, and you also have many other positive outcomes. You might be wondering at this point how it is possible to know when the higher frequency energies are coming so that you can be prepared. 
at this point, it is a good idea to be paired all the time. Don't just wait for a full moon or a solstice. Make sure that you are always hydrated, always rested. Make sure that you are constantly grounding, feeling your emotions, connecting with nature, and opening yourselves up to receive. The experience of a heightened energy download can be one of the greatest experiences of your life. It can also be one of the worst. It really does depend on the environment those energies are stepping into. If a person has a lot of unresolved, unfelt feelings, higher frequency energies can bring them all to the surface. If a person is not taking care of themselves physically, the energies can intensify their experience of the illness or pain. As we have said, you might as well stay prepared because you are getting closer and closer to ascension every single day. Ascension will be the ultimate download of higher frequency energies. Preparing yourself for that major event that is coming in your lifetime is a very sound spiritual practice. But all of the things we have given you here as a way of taking care of yourself and preparing higher frequency energies are also just good, sound practice for living a happy, healthy, fulfilled life. And so, in many ways, those who are completely unaware that a shift is coming can be preparing themselves subconsciously. Certain individuals know that something is happening without putting it into words, and so, you see, it really does not matter what you believe. It does, however, matter whether you listen to your inner guidance, and your inner guidance is always telling you the same thing that we are. So we recommend that you listen and that you feel for these energies every single day. The first thing you can do when you wake up to prepare yourself is to take the temperature of the energies that you can feel and see what the universe has in store for you. When you are prepared for anything, you have a much easier time of being there during this very tumultuous and shifty time of ascension. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you.